Welcome back to IJ DM. Um, yeah, my fourth take on this because I keep having issues and maybe I'll show some outtakes of some of the craziness that went on to me trying to get this started. I don't, I don't know what the heck was going on tonight, if it's me or just the craziness of something out of alignment in the world or universe. But uh, this is the Gigabyte Aorus 15G uh, laptop released around May 2019, 2020-ish, I'm guessing. I hope. Uh, Gigabyte, if you want to send me more of these to demo, I am more than happy to because I did spend upwards of $1,000 on this laptop, but I need something for editing and Apple laptops just, I, I don't feel, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling any innovation anymore from them. It's, it's more gimmicky and I know Windows is going that way too, but it's like they need really to have these stripped down versions of Windows more available and not have all the i mean i spent more time setting this laptop up and getting all the bloatware off of there than i did because when you're editing you don't want the bloatware you don't want the alarm clocks and all this extra stuff running in the background you want every bit of that core and and processor and ram that you, and video ram that you can use you don't want it burning stuff in the background so my reasoning for that is is very simple i just remove it as much as i can so we do have this model and I would like to have a brand new one, but hey, you know what? Sometimes this is what I was able to save up for and I did sell off some retro gear and uh, I do still have much of it, but it's just extra gear or duplicates of stuff I had that was not donated. I had purchased out of my own money that I realized, well, I did the review on it or I did this or that with it. I don't really need it anymore. And with this laptop, you do get the 10th generation i7 uh, processor from Intel. Uh, the 107 something something and yeah I'm not doing this like other reviews like oh we're gonna be stringent we're gonna divide this in little sections and do all this I'm nothing bad about that but I'm just doing this you know totally gorilla style I'm doing this more just like hey Rambo style and less Mr. Chip style I'm, I'm letting you just have what my honest thoughts are I have no script in behind me I'm just standing behind the camera no scripts no nothing I'm just going totally off my head right now so what we have here is 16 gigs of RAM that can be upgraded. I'm not sure to 64 or what the max is and make you can go further than that, but I plan to upgrade at least to 32. Maybe I'll go to 64, but 32 should be sufficient. It's got six cores on it. Um, there's an eight core model from what I understand, which obviously adds the price up more. And that's the one I really would have liked to had. This one was a good contender compared to the uh, razor blade laptops, which also have something I'm going to mention in a minute, which is what attracted me to this one, is something that I, I really am glad they finally returned back to. And probably one of the reasons you're watching this, if one of the keywords um, struck the search on, on the algorithms in YouTube. But the sound, well, yeah. Yeah, you've, you may have seen a few reviews if you're watching this one. There is a couple issues with this laptop with the thin screen. The camera had to be placed down here. And it's it's almost like a moment from what uh, Lord Helmet said in Spaceballs. Careful, you idiot! I said across her nose, not up it. Yeah, the camera is down here, so it's like looking up at you, almost through your nostrils, and it's like not the best placement of a camera. But I do like the little door. That, that that's a great little uh, gimmick there. And the trackpad is a glass tra uh, trackpad. I'll slide this forward so you can see this a little better. Trackpad with the reader built in, which is nice. And I'm not going to go too much into too much detail, but let's just cover the inside while I have it opened up. And it's got this nice keyboard that you can change the colors and do all the stuff and assign different. You can assign different key colors using the software that's built in. Let's just do this. And this gives you different options. If I was plugged in right now, I could obviously accelerate the you know the CPU usage. Right now, it's it's just balancing it on the on the battery that I'm using right now, um, which is fine. And it works perfectly fine off of battery. It actually has a decent battery life, in my opinion, at you know six hours of use. And here's your Fusion, um, which controls your keyboard. So if I want to make the keys down here below say blue then i can hit the blue button and bam they turn blue or i can assign individual keys or have it do the breathing and whatever i just prefer the solid colors and then i have certain customizations for like if i'm doing a live production and then i can just have certain keys illuminated that i'm using at the time and the rest of them are kind of dimmed out i can still see them in darker situations but um 
yeah that is a nice feature but the nicest feature of this keyboard comes in a different way as i bump the camera and that would be this keyboard and for that i'm gonna have to go down to the trusty old notepad because if you can hear it i'm not sure with the nighttime noises but uh yeah that's my opinion of this keyboard uh anybody that started doing this mechanical keyboard inside the laptop great idea and you probably can't see what i'm typing because i see it's it's super really white bright uh in the screen but this is a mechanical keyboard it uses what's called an amaron switch the feel to it it's kind of like a short throw even shorter throw like if you're used to the low profile blue switches from different companies it kind of feels like just like a like a little like a half version of that and it it's got a nice feel to it it takes a minute to get used to the keyboard but i mean this keypad i mean even gamers sometimes will tell you like hey they like having the keypad i know it's like no we just want we don't want that eliminated only issue I have with the keyboard is one real big issue is the customizations. I wish there was a better way to save it and name it the way you want inside the software. And then the fact, I wish these keyboards would light up when you're first logging into the laptop. I realize you normally use your fingerprint thing or whatever. Every minute you don't tell us why you're here, I cut off a finger. Mine or yours? Yours. It would be nice if this thing actually did stay lit. But it takes a moment until it loads Windows before in the software and everything for it lights up everything on the keyboard the way you want it. Um, that being said, the arrow keys and this is my biggest issue right here. Uh, if you can see, the arrow keys are almost kind of protruding over into the numeric area, area. So if you're using the numerics like I use sometimes a lot for different things I do, the issue is I'm hitting this instead of zero which obviously creates a problem, especially when I'm trying to do calculations and so forth. That being said, still a nice keyboard, bad placement on the camera. Screen, it's fine to me. It, it's perfectly fine. It's only 1080, but uh, it's crisp. It, it's got plenty of resolution modes to choose from. I have it set a little bit higher on this because I want to utilize as much space as I can for things I do with it. But other than that, the trackpad is good. I mean, I had to make a few adjustments on the trackpad because just some things I wasn't quite used to and gotten used to with, with the MacBooks. So I tried to make it more like that. And good God, people, stop doing that natural reverse direction weirdness thing. It's like, you're trying to retrain our brains? I mean, ugh, brief. But uh, you got your AORS logo, which I guess is like an eagle, some kind of like modernish eagle with like a talon. And this only lights up in white. You can't, it doesn't change color or anything. I think newer models might change. Whoa, look at the fan vents. Yeah. Yeah, this thing kind of is a little race car ish, which I think the design, I feel like it's a little overly aggressive than it needs to be. And it's got more vents here. That's your power. That is your SD card slot, which was another selling point for me, and all the ports, including the USB C. It's not the newer, whatever super whatever but at least it offers that two uh, usb 3.0s on this side moving over to the other side there's nothing interesting on the back as i showed just vents and we have an hdmi which is still nice to have a thunderbolt which i guess is an earlier thunderbolt it's not like the newest newest version not really sure on that another usb 3.0 you got your headphone and microphone audio in and out type deal all in one little dealio here and then of course a LAN port which is nice you can just plug it in you don't have to Dig around for an adapter or anything solid case the, the the flip side of it yeah more vents and uh, leading me to that on the venting in the fan part of it um and the performance the performance i've had a few issues with with namely adobe i'm not blaming adobe i'm not blaming gigabyte at all but uh, one of my biggest issues right now is when i first started uh premiere up 2021 edition as of making this video it said that my video card was incompatible i mean i felt like adobe's trying to tell me what video card i have to have to use their software which is totally totally ridiculous and i do not agree with at all but i was able to download something called a studio version versus the non-studio that was default installed when i got it so and i did re-image the disc and reinstall everything because i wasn't quite happy with some of the setup but some of the bloatware from aorus gigabyte comes in anyways 
and I'll cover that in a future video if there's interest in this more interest in this laptop like please yes I'd like to know more about this bloatware stuff and how you organize different things and how you got rid of it I can go more into that in detail if you would like but for now I'm gonna give this laptop I can't really I'm maybe a thumb up and a thumb half gigabyte if you got an improvement on a future model like I said this is probably the 19 2000 early 2020 model I know I think there's either there's been a few models that have come out since then. I'd love to take a look at one of those. But for now, it's, it is it is exactly what I needed at the time. And I was a Mac person, and going to Windows is a hard adjustment. But it was one of those adjustments I needed to do just for cost-saving measures. And what I would get for my money, obviously, I got more value on this. And I can still edit my programs, use things I, I want to use. And once I got some of the things figured out with video drivers and stuff like that, and some of the weirdness, then it, it, it I mean... Compared to my old MacBook that would take a video that was 10 minutes would take up to 45 minutes to render out the 4k version This one did my last video in less than I think like eight minutes and I was like well That's already half the render time. So to me that's worth it saves me time means I can get more videos and be more productive that is it for now. Be sure to subscribe or become a Patreon sponsor at patreon.com slash WZTB. And there's a delay because I am recording this live. Well, recording this, recording this. Just want to kind of revisit this one again and works out because oh whoa what's going on that could be my router system it's been going a little weird on me and these cameras can sometimes uh be fussy and uh on nvidia card 1660 and wow this is not gonna freaking work that and maybe i should have set up a separate router whoa what are we doing Man, is my voice breaking up too? Wow. View of my side yard. You can see some, yeah, you know, some digital craziness going on. Again, I, I am sure that's my network. It has nothing to do with these cameras or the laptop. Trust me. Using this video, maybe. This is a wash.